hello, good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's about 8.15 in the morning. I just got gas. I didn't show you getting gas. Like typically I would just include it, but I feel like we've been getting gas together a lot and, it, and no, but it's not interesting. <laughs> so I just got gas. I am headed to a dermatologist appointment just for like a yearly skin check because I spent a good majority of my life in the tanning beds. We don't do that anymore, but we spent a good majority of time probably from when I was 15 until mm, I did it right when I got married. So until I was like 30, 31. So we do yearly skin checks just to be safe. Um, that's all we're doing. Everyone should do it. Doesn't matter if you live somewhere where you're in the sun or not, you should do it. I highly recommend it. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. And then I'm just working for the rest of the day. But I thought that we could do this like last minute, the week before we go on vacation type video surprise this is the week before I go on vacation today's Tuesday you're watching this while I'm on vacation and I'm so excited I, I don't even know what else to say I know I say I'm so excited so often miss the truth it's the God's honest truth I'm so excited because I want to I'm, I'm ready for a break I'm ready to just sit by a pool I'm ready to park hop I'm ready to eat snacks I'm ready to wear my matching t-shirts like all of the above I also am tomorrow I'm gonna film a let's try on some outfits I printed Candace's itinerary and wrote down all the outfits that I'll need for said trip so I'll link that video down below because I think I'm gonna try them all on and we can well you're, it's already I'm already on vacation when you're if you're watching this and then gonna click on that but I still think it'll be fun if you want to watch it um, I probably won't share vacation things while I'm on vacation just because it's a vacation but if you want to follow me on like Instagram a bunch of stuff's probably gonna go there so if you're interested you can follow me there if you're not a, not interested that's okay too that's the plan we'll do a little last minute though I didn't film yesterday I went to Publix and got I need a toothpaste mouthwash um, floss I bought a bottle of lotion that I like like things like that that I didn't show you and I should have but I didn't so instead you get this kind of video, but I am doing a spray tan later this week because, well, I want to try it out. It's a new place that I've never been to closer to me that does like a person that sprays you. And I just want to see how I like it. And then I don't know what else we're going to do this week. I may already have everything I need, but I feel like there's going to be a day where I make a list and I'm like, oh no, I need all of these things, which I know I want to get some shampoo and conditioner to take with me and I'll probably go to Walmart for that. So anyway, we'll do all that together. I don't wanna start this video just rambling. I feel like last week's vlog, I talked for like the first 20 minutes. Not everybody wants to hear me talk for 20 minutes. So let's go to the dermatologist. We have arrived. I'm a little bit early, but this parking lot is packed, y'all. Okay, I'm in the gown. There's so many people here. The parking lot, okay, you saw the parking lot was packed. It's like 9.40, 9.45. Um, they tell you to take everything off but bra and underwear if you've never done a skin check before. Everything off but like bra and underwear. Put this on, opens in the back, and they just check you for everything. They just put new lights in here and it is so bright. Also, this spot I have a question about. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But my skin we know is a work in progress. Sunspots, I do microneedling. Okay, we're back in the car. I got caught talking to y'all in there. Uh, everything looks good. So I'll go back in a year for my skin check. This is nothing. Well, it's like a little, she said like blood vessel type thing. Um, we couldn't zap it off. Like zap it off meaning y'all know I've come in before and gotten sunspots removed, like frozen off a couple times with y'all at this point. I'll try to find those videos and link them down below because one of them was from, gosh, probably eight years ago nine years ago at this point and people still watch it and comment on it so i'll try to find it and link it down below um this one is not something that you can just freeze off she said laser if i wanted to if i don't care then that's fine too at this point i'm okay with it like lasers kind of scare me a little bit i do have like well i do a couple times a year microneedling with sarah which is the spa attached like they the dermatologist office also owns a spa and that's the spa that I go to like the med spa um I don't have a microneedling scheduled right now because it's so expensive and also I'm going on vacation how many times have I said that also it's tax season you know what I mean um so I might call her and schedule microneedling 
maybe for like April or May, probably for May, and ask her about this. The only thing is I have something really exciting to tell y'all and I can't tell you yet. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm trying to wait until it's like official official. Um, so I'm just trying to keep my skin in like tip top shape. So I'm excited to tell you. I can't tell you yet. I know I hate when people do that too, but I've been holding it in for months. Okay, months. I went back into my phone and it was like February was the first time that anyway okay that's it I'm going home to finish working get your yearly skin checks again even if you're not in the sun you don't get in the sun it's still worth it she even checked the bottom of my feet I mean they get in there you know what I mean but we gotta make sure we're cool so I'm going home to work hi how are you today is Thursday almost 11 o'clock I have been up for so long I woke up at 6 like alarm is set for 6 a.m. so that I could work out shower shave exfoliate wash my hair get ready film a video and then candace is coming over so we can film the podcast for this weekend it's already up by the time that you're watching this yeah it's up so i'll link it down below for you but she's hungry so instead of her coming to my house first and us filming i'm meeting her for lunch at sunny's sunny's barbecue i say i'm only hesitant because i was gonna say I think it's a franchise, but I think Sunny's Barbecue is a franchise. I feel like they're all over the place. So that was what she wanted for lunch today. So they open at 11. She's meeting me there and then we'll come back to my house and film. And then later today, I want to go get a pedicure. I might get a manicure with no color on my nails. I've just been liking the natural nails lately and they're finally like strong again from Oh, you're way crooked, I just realized. They're finally strong again from getting my hair done. My hair done, wow, wow. I'm stopping for a moment, so I'm gonna fix you. There we go. Um, from getting, it's still crooked, from getting my nails done so often, I felt like it made them so thin and they would break, and so they're finally good now, and I don't wanna ruin that. I, I kinda wanna get regular polish, but that never lasts on me. You know, it's like next day chips kinda thing, so. Do you do regular polish and does it actually stay? When you like wash your hair, do the dishes, all sorts of things, does it actually stay? Let me know. There she is, folks. We made it, they're not open yet. We got five minutes. I wonder if she's coming to sit in my car cause she's getting out. Let's see, I think so. Hey girl, hey. Are you coming to sit in my car? Yeah. Your hair looks cute. Oh, I smell the barbecue. Oh, do you smell me. it? No, no, no. <laughs> do you smell it? I do. Mm, those pictures were cute. Hi. Hi. Of my child's yeah. children's. Wow. He's going to be first though, Taryn, because there's only 17 tables in there. Oh, my bad. <laughs> He's hungry. I'm hungry too. I am hungry sir. too. So, Sunny's, and then we're filming the potty. I was telling him about it. Am I recording? Mm -hmm. It's going. It says 16, 17, 18, 18 19, 19, 20. Okay. There's ants in my car. Oh, no. My hair looks long. He walked from Target. There's another man waiting now at the door, and I watched him walk from the Target parking lot. What are you wearing? A jacket. Is that new? It is. It's <laughs> from under. Well, it's actually from Kohl's, but it's Under Armour brand. It's my favorite jacket. It's coming with us on vacation. It's your favorite jacket as of three days Since ago? Since I got it. Three days ago? Yeah. Well, they know each other. They're having a party. Look at that dimple on your cheek. Is that a dimple, or you got yeah. cellulite on your face? Oh. My sister, folks. That's my sister. No, it's a dimple. Only have one on one side. Do I have a dimple? Oh, no, just so you like. I do have a mole. Oh. <laughs> Sunny says a franchise, right? Probably. I told him it was. Well, we don't know a whole lot. Did I lie? We do our best. We did go to college. We actually did. <laughs> we, we completed it, too. I'm very smart <laughs> on paper. On paper. Very smart for her education. I did. Level. I... I have a good, I have a high education level. I'm so hot. Sorry, let me turn that on for you. It's not you, it's um, me. I'm getting over. I think that's two minutes slow. So once they're they let these inside. guys. I'm at 2.58. Oh, I can see through your leggings. Oh, it smells barbecue. I think I need to start getting my hair thinned out again. It's too, too thick. You got the thickness mm -hmm. in all the <laughs> wrong places. It's right. It's right? It's all the right places. All the right places. And then extra ones. I have so many people that say they find um, find you and follow you and like you too. From you? And then there's a select few that... That I just got on my own? No, that don't like you. <laughs> you could work at Chick-fil-A and somebody would be mean to you. Not you, but in general, you know? 
Watch and Chick-fil-A is like the night because they're like the nicest place. It's my pleasure. Right. Like people are so nice. Well, but there'll always be somebody that doesn't like you. My pits are cold like this. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hey, Hi. How are you? Kids, all three of those men were alone. They weren't together. Here's the menu in case you've never seen a Sunny's barbecue menu. I'm gonna get a sandwich. It comes with a drink. What are you gonna get? Probably a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Probably. We got this barbecue chicken queso type thing. To Go ahead. I did. Oh, how is it? It's interesting. It's okay. Oh. I think the barbecue in it. I'm trying to hold y'all and eat at the same time. How do you feel about it? That's pretty good. We're back home from lunch. We're setting up the potty. Candace is having trouble with the tripod. She, it's not her regular one. It's mine, so she's not real familiar with it. But we got lights there. We got lights there. We got lights there. Oh, why is it so high? You can see the light. We'll move it out of the way. Just back it up some. Let me see. I can't reach it. I can't reach the pole to back it up. But you I can. I think we're safe. Podcast, it's so crooked. It's so crooked. Podcast test, one, two. Podcast test, three, four. One, two, three, four, it's crooked. It's not terrible. Do you want Why me to do I look it? I like I'm about to you go, you're in a go in for surgery. Here. Do you want me to fix it while you sit? Okay. Okay. Are you going to sit here this time? I want to be on TV. I want to be on TV. So it's got a good nose. Wind is blowing so hard. All right, potty is done. Done. It turned out really good. Yeah, I, I think it fun. did. I think it's going to be fun to watch. I hope so. I hope that y'all like it. But now, we're going to get our pedicures. All right, Candace likes 722. I this bright pink here. But then what, what was the other one? Um, oh, these yeah. little over here. Yeah, 29. 20, oh, 29. See, I like 43. But I, 43. This, like, bright one right there. Okay, a little orange tint too. Mm-hmm. But I also told her I'm going to get whatever she gets. So I'm picking today? I think so. I don't know. I, I want to say yeah, but it depends on what you pick. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no, that car's just stopped. Oh, it's an old man. Oh, no. Hello. Today is Friday. It is 540. I'm actually filming a day in the life with Brian today. It's already up. Yes, it's already up by the time that you're watching this. So I'll find it and link it down below for you. But I'm not including this bit because this is not with Brian. I'm going to get a, I am, wow. I'm going to get a spray tan for my vacation. And I talked about it at the beginning of this video. Let's do some vacation prep type things. So I'm trying a new place today. It's called Brush of Bronze. The place, okay, do y'all remember, I actually filmed it, my first ever spray tan that I got. A person sprayed me down at a place, I couldn't tell you the name of it. Anyway, I called that place because I really liked that spray tan, and I've only gotten sprayed by two other people since then, and that one was the best. So I called to make an appointment, and they no longer do spray tans. I'm telling you, when I went, that was probably eight years ago. <laughs> it was so long ago. So I called this place, it's closer to me, they have a bunch of pictures on their website like before and after pictures and stuff and it's a person that sprays you y'all know i've gotten in like the spray tan booths a ton at palm beach tan it's just not the same i feel like a person is able to sort of customize it a little bit better and get in all the places that maybe you don't know that there are creases and stuff so um a person will spray me i don't know who that person is So we're going. My appointment's at 6 p.m. on a Friday. I think they're actually open till like 8 o'clock, which is crazy. I tried to get a later appointment because I thought we were going to try to go to the beach today. But where we wanted to go, like, we would have just had to rush back. So we did other things. Anyway, I vlogged it. We did other, other things. We're also cooking um, supper together tonight that will be in that video. So I'll continue it then. But spray tan for now. I'm not going to do my neck or my face only because I did just wash my makeup off. Um, you know, I'm like, my face is very sensitive and I've been using different skincare and stuff and I'm just, I'm working on it. 
So I felt like let's not put the spray tan chemicals on my face. And I also put the skincare on my neck. I put it on my chest too, but my chest is a little, it's not sensitive. Like my neck and my face both are. So we're not going to do my face, but I went ahead and washed my face because you know, you can't touch water for the rest of the day. So there's that. Here's the before, but you can't really see. I was wearing a sweater uh, and it was like itching my neck. So hopefully that goes down before I get in there, but let's go get a spray tan. Brush of bronze. This is where I'm going. It's always the most awkward because I'm not wearing a bra and it's like a business. You just got to jiggle your way through <laughs> to get in there. But it, you know, I mean, yellow, it is what it is. All right, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. We didn't do my face. I think she did get my neck a little bit, but that's okay. It was really my face that I was worried about. I just did a very light tan. I don't want to look funny without makeup on because obviously I didn't do my face. I'm just putting a little bit of um, hand sanitizer on my palms. And I'm gonna try to just do it where it doesn't get anywhere else. I accidentally touched the little back thing. It almost looks like, this is my first time I've ever been here. Did I say that? It looked like, you know, whenever you turn your hood vent on and you're cooking and it like sucks up the air, it was a whole wall of it behind me. And so she would spray me and it was like sucking in the tan behind me. And I thought, how smart is that? That's such a smart thing to do. All right, here's what I want to say. I am not wearing a bra, right? This might be TMI. But if you have a larger chest, um, and they tend to sit versus stand. Do you get my drift? I feel like I'm gonna have two, like, half moons on each side from where they just sit. You know what I'm saying? But there's nothing I can do about it now. I mean, I can, like, tuck my sweatshirt, um, which I may put on a t-shirt. I should have worn a t-shirt. I may put on a t-shirt when I get home um, because this is thick. Anyway, I may tuck the shirt just to make myself feel a little bit better because I don't want to sweat. That's the thing. Like you don't want to get wet or sweat. All right, that took all of 10 minutes. And now I'm going home to finish my other video, cooking dinner with Brian, though I can't, we're doing chicken wings. I can't touch them because I can't wash my hands. So I'm just going to instruct him on how to cook the chicken wings. Uh, but you and I will see each other in the morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. I just washed my fake tan off. You know, it doesn't actually look that different from my neck to my body. It looks pretty good. Legs look pretty good as well. I do have little white marks like here from where those joggers were sitting. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. I did tell them very light. I just wanted to not look crazy without makeup on. You know, sometimes people people as in me as well, can have like the harsh tan line here and then their face is super pale. I didn't want that. So this looks pretty good. I'm very happy. It was $41 by the way, in case you're wondering, for a custom spray tan, which is cheaper than going to Palm Beach Tan and getting a booth, like sprayed in a booth. Oh, I'm happy. First thing on the agenda is laundry. Oh no, Brian has, okay. Let me sort this out first. It was just a few towels. He wanted to wash his golf stuff for this weekend. Now we let Miss Cash outside. She's been laying in her bed. Usually she's up with me, but it took her a minute to wake up this morning. It's a beautiful day. The cabana held up well, by the way, from those storms we had earlier in the week. It looks so nice. I did pull in the cushions and the little Bluetooth speaker. Did we talk about this already? Maybe we did, but anyway, it held up really well. I'm sitting on the floor in my filming room. I wanna to put together some goodie bags. Oh, she's just too short. Please look at the camera. <gasps> she's looking at her mama. Oh my goodness. All right, so I made some goodie bags for everyone for the trip and I wanna put them together. And then we're gonna to cut to a packing montage cause I need to tuck things away in this room. My sister's cat is staying at our house while we're gone. My mom keeps the dogs. The cat is staying here. I got these cute star bags from Target. So it came in four in a pack, two blue and two white. And then luckily they had singles and I just bought an extra one because there's five of us. Yes, I, I did buy stuff to make myself a goodie bag as well because I wanna be a part of the fun. And then I got star tissue paper to put in them. It's just fun to me. I love doing stuff like this. Even though like I already know what's in my little goodie bag, it's still fun. Everything in this box came from Sephora. 
I have put together little baggies for people, though all the info of who gets what is on my phone, and that is my phone. So, let's see if I can remember who gets what. Hold on, let me print it and then we'll be right back. We got the goods. Let's put our little bags together. I did go through yesterday and write names on the bottom of the bags. I'm not good, like, I don't have good handwriting. I'm not good at, like, calligraphy or anything like that. So, you just, that's how we know <laughs> whose bag is whose. All right, let's do Candace first. She gets, I already gave her her mascara because she said she needed it. I think this is her little baggie. Yeah, so she already got her mascara, which was the Bad Gal mascara. She said that was one of her favorites. And then she gets a Mango Passion hand sanitizer. Ooh, the Caudalie Grape Water Face Spray. I'm excited for my bag, too. And then I got the K-Skin Lip Balm. She got the shade Eerie, Irie Rose. These were a... I had something else. What did I have? Like a Laneige, Laneige mask for everybody, but... I thought that we would like those better. A Living Proof Mini Hairspray. Ooh, the Merit Cream Blush. If y'all watched, I'll link it down below if you didn't watch it, our podcast that we just posted. She just posted on Saturday. She talked about discovering cream blush and how much she loved it. And she didn't know that she was getting this. So I hope that she really likes this. I got it in the shade Rouge. And then a Moroccan Oil Hair Mask. And again, she already got her mascara. So that's Candace's little bag. I just put a T on mine. <laughs> but let's do my little bag. And then do we want to go through all the bags? Do y'all care about that? I got me one of these too, the Caudalie sprays. I have a setting spray type thing that I really like. So I thought that the grape water would be nice. It could be a good option to take with you to the parks if it's really hot outside. And then I got the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. People rave about this. I got myself one of these as well. This lip balm, mine is in the shade Bad Gal Berry. I got the Bad Gal Bang. Yeah, Bad Gal Bang Mascara too. It's from Benefit. But I got the waterproof version. We know my lashes are straight and I need something to like hold the curl. And then I got this. This milk makeup in the color Splash, it's that jelly. Yeah, cooling water jelly tint blush. It's like a jello texture. I am so excited for that. I got the Beach Cocoa hand sanitizer. And then I also got myself one of these Moroccan oil hair masks. Oh wait, I forgot. Okay, I got everybody a sunblock because who doesn't need sunblock? So I'm gonna put this one, oh no, my bags. <laughs> My bags, I don't think are big enough, but I thought it would look silly to get like the really, oh, okay, that's fine. It fit in there fine. And then let me put Candace's little sunblock. I also have some of these left over, so I thought I'll put these in Candace and my nieces. I don't use these because I feel like they're just a little bit harsh. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do two each for them. I did make my brother-in-law a bag too. I didn't want him to feel left out. So he got blue sandalwood hand sanitizer. I did have to ask my sister what I should get him because he doesn't wear makeup and skincare and stuff like that. So I got him this verb sculpting clay for your hair. She said that she thought he would like that. And then this lip balm, Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. It's not as much as everybody else, and that makes me sad, but I didn't know what else to get. And then he's going to get a sunblock. And that is his bag. Let's do one of my nieces. I got them different things. They have different likes. I don't know why that took me a minute to get that out of my brain. All right, so for this niece, we have Ceremonia Guava Leave-In Conditioner. She asked for something like this. I've never tried it, but I'm telling you right now, she loves to try new products and her and I have very similar skin. Like she has redness and she has very thick, coarse hair like me. So a lot of times we'll test and try things out and then share our recommendations, likes and dislikes. So this is one that I'm excited to hear from her if she likes or not. She's getting the Clinique High Impact Mascara in the shade Black, just a little mini one. Her shade of this is, I think this is just the clear. I think I didn't, yeah, I think hers is just the clear one. It also says SPF 30, water resistant for up to 40 minutes. So it's like a little sunscreen lip balm. She also got the Caudalie Grape Water Spray. Her scent is Appalicious. She got a hair mask as well. And then she also got a dry shampoo, this Amika Perk Up dry shampoo. And a little sunblock. 
And then I am going to put two of these in there for her just in case. Like she doesn't wear a ton of makeup, but she might decide to wear some. I don't know. I have them and I need to get rid of them. How freaking cute are these? And last one we have is my other niece. She's more adventurous with makeup. So her and I will try different makeup brands and products and go back and forth. Whereas the other niece is more into skincare and hair care. So it's really fun to have them to like bounce off of. This niece is also into very like trendy makeup, like TikTok type things like I am. So I also got her the same little milk blush because I, I just think it's cool. And I know that she would have seen it on TikTok and I know that she's gonna think that's the coolest thing ever. She also got one of these lip balms in the shade Nude Ting. She got a hair mask. Her scent is Velvet Peach. Her two little products, I got her the Tower 28 Mascara. I wanna try this, or I want her to tell me if it's good or not. That's why I got the minis, because these products aren't like drugstore price products. Like they're a little bit pricey. So I got her this. Her one request was eyeshadow primer. So I bought the Urban Decay one, the primer potion. I used this back in the day and loved it, so I thought that maybe she would like it. And then she also got the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. They all got, with the exception of my brother-in-law, everybody got the same amount of products. It just, some products are bigger than the other ones, so it just seems like her stuff is a little bit smaller. It is smaller, but it's the same amount of things. I need somebody to make me a goodie bag like this. I mean, I did make one for myself, but you know what I'm saying? Like surprise me with a fun little goodie bag. And then her two little makeup remover pads, wipes. And there we go. I'm gonna put my tissue paper in them. And that's that. Those are our little goodie bags and I hope they all love them. We are packed. I still need to do my toiletries, um, but for now I'm ending this video. I hope that you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, you know the drill. I am on vacation right now when you're watching this, and I'm sure I'm having a blast. I am vlogging. I don't know if I'm gonna do like how much or how many parts or whatever, but I am vlogging a little bit. So I'll see you next week. Yeah, I'll see you next week.